We're gonna go um, on a little bit of a canyon. A little bit of a canyon run, man. Oh! <laughs> Take the Jeep compass on a canyon run and see how it does. What's good everybody? Who is Louie 13 back again? I am Louie and as you can see behind me we got the 2020 Jeep Compass Limited. We're gonna be doing a review on this thing today man and um, if you're familiar with the channel then you know we don't just do reviews, we get mods in, we get runs in Mexico. Uh, my original vehicle is the 2020 Dodge Charger 392 Scat Pack Wide Body. So if you're interested in any of that, you know, check me out and um, see what it's all about, man. But today, as you guys can see in the title and all that, we're doing the review on this 2020 Jeep Compass Limited right here. And apparently, you know, from what I've seen, I don't know too much about them, but you know, this is the top of the line right here when it comes to the compasses. There's the Limited, and then there's the Trailhawk, and then the Limited 4x4, you know what I'm saying? So it is um, top of the line, I guess, when it comes to these compasses right here. From what I see, you can see right here, you know what I'm saying? And these ones go for about 28,000 to start, uh, depending on, you know, what you go with you know what trim you go with what options you get and all that but yeah man let's take a look at it and see what it looks like from the outside uh me personally i don't know man uh it looks good you know it's nice i like the little front right here but at all the jeeps this might be my least favorite i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna just tell you guys straight up right up front it looks kind of similar to the Grand Cherokee or the Cherokee. Um, me personally, I like the Cherokee a little more. You know, they have similar front ends and all that. But as you guys can see, it comes with the fog lights. Looks like, I don't know if these are LED or not. I'm sure you could get the option to get them LED. Got the little front grill right here. It's just plastic. Feels kind of cheap to be honest, not gonna lie. You got the functional air coming through the grill right there. These are not functional. You got the little lights right here on the rear view mirrors. You got this little thing up top for the bike racks and all that. You know, it's not a bad size for the Jeep. It comes with these wheels right here. Uh, not, too, not too crazy about them, to be honest with you guys. But it looks all right, man. You know, it does. it's not ugly or anything by, by any means. It's an all right looking vehicle. We're gonna take it for a ride right now as well, but just based off the looks, probably be my least favorite, man. You know, you got the chrome right here, or at least it looks like chrome coming around. Got the little dual exhaust tips right there. But yeah, man, uh, not too much going on on the outside. Not really too much to say about it, to be honest with you. So how about we just hop up in there and see what it's working with on the inside. So when, once we open the door, you see it got some stitching right here. So this must be, you know, one of the plus packages. You see it got the Jeep on the seats right there. And the seats feel nice. I actually like the seats, I ain't gonna lie. The seats are nice. They look good, they're nice and bolstered up. You know, they got the, what is that, orange stitching I think that is. And it looks, looks all right, man. So let's hop up in here. And you know, it's a, it's a pretty comfortable vehicle. I feel all right in here. The headrest is good. Like you know how some headrests, you gotta lean all the way back for your head to be on the thing. This one, you actually sit in it and your head's actually touching the headrest. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's comfortable in here, like I said. Nice and roomy. The steering wheel feels nice. Similar to other Dodge vehicles. Got the Jeep on it right here. Got all your little buttons. Like I said, I have a charger and aside from a few things, like mine has the flat bottom, but aside from a few things, it's pretty much the same. It feels nice. Got the stitching on it as well. I'm not sure if that's real stitching or not. And this, I don't know, man, this looks kind of cheap and played out. This is a rental. That's why it has, 
you know, the no smoking and all that. But I don't really like the look of this. It looks like this is the type of material that gets dirty really easily and scratches really super easy. As you can see, there's already some scratches on it. So I'm not too crazy about that. This, I mean, it looks good. I like this material right here. This material, but you see, you got, they got this type of material and then they got the gloss right here. It doesn't really look good to me, to be quite honest with you. And then they got the same material right here. And as you can see, it's real dirty and... You know, that type of stuff just scratches real easily, and I don't really like the way it looks with this. I wish they probably would have been better just doing it all this type of material right here, like a matte type of color. Uh, I think that would have been the better way to go. But, you know, as you guys can see, they got the little gloss in with the, with the uh, matte finish right here. And then they got the stitching right here on the shifter the shifting lever as you guys can see you could take the traction control off you know maybe do some drifts i don't know man they got the traction button right there uh the parking brake pull oh it turns the oh that's pretty cool all right so you could just all you do is push that up and the parking brake turns on i guess that's kind of looks like the lambo uh button to start the car that's pretty cool don't really know what that is uh you guys might know more about that than me but you know overall pretty comfortable in here let's go ahead and turn that on and see you see the jeep comes up right there with the sirius xm got the heated seats and all that over here you got all your little functions you see the windows do go down automatically and they come up automatically as well oh on both sides all right but it's kind of weird, you know how some of them, they click when you push it down and they click when you push it up and that's how you know it's automatic. These ones don't really do that. Oh, the back, the back ones are automatic too. Oh, okay, they go automatic down, but not up. That's kind of weird. See how, look, I'm gonna hit it. It just worked. I know you guys just seen that it went down automatically. There it goes. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with these things. You got to kind of push them hard. I don't really like that. But it um, doesn't look like there's any um, memory seats in here. You got the controls down here to control that. Pretty regular with all that. As you can see right here, you got all your controls and everything. It looks pretty cool right there. Um, you know, it looks pretty modern. It's not like a digital dash or anything, but you can see, you know, you got all your stuff right there. You got that speed right there, and then you got the digital speed right there. So that looks, I mean, fairly modern. I mean, I'm not, I haven't been in too many newer vehicles like this, but it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, man, let's hop up in the back seat and see what's going on back there. So we are back here and pretty comfortable, man. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I'm six foot, so you know I have the seat back pretty good, you know, for me to have room. And I still got a lot of room right here. You know, I got leg room. Um, and it's pretty good, man. I don't know if you guys seen the stitching right there. I didn't really show you this, but you know, you got that. It goes pretty deep. That's that's deep as hell. I, actually, goddamn. You can put a uh, quite a few things in there. You're gonna have to stack it, but you know, it's all good. Um, you know, you got the air vents right here. You got, oh, you got a little outlet right there. Got the little USB. And yeah, man, pretty regular back here. Uh, I don't know what all that is. That's pretty nasty. The hell? Someone had a dog back here, I hope. Because I don't know what that is. It was getting freaky back here. This is a rental, like I said. But there you go. You got this. Got the little cup holders. The little arm. Damn, bruh. They ain't clean this shit, as you guys can see. That's nasty as hell, bruh. But, uh, yeah, man, I like the way the seats look. They look pretty good. Um, this looks kind of cheap. Plastic right there. But there's a good amount of room in here. I have the charger, like I said, and it doesn't look like more room than the charger, though. You know, it looks like a similar amount of space. So it's not too, too roomy, but it's pretty roomy. Um, I think with three people back here, it'll be pre pretty squished because as you can see, and don't mind the shorts here, I do have shorts on, um, it would be kind of squished. You know, if you have, I'm six foot, so like, if I'm more, if I'm sitting comfortable like this, you know, if there's a person right there, I'm gonna have to be like this. 
you know, it'd be not too squished, but you're going to be kind of squished. Because as you can see, you know, there's not a lot of room right there. So you can fit a little person right here and then two, you know, all right size people on the outside. But not too bad, man. Let's go ahead and uh, check the back space right here. See how much room is going on over there in the trunk space, man. Go ahead and... uh. I don't know how to pop it. Let's see. There we go. Now, I don't know. Let's see if it comes up automatically. It doesn't come up automatically. You do have to pull it up and then it'll go. But you know, all right amount of room right here. Not too bad. I don't know what this is. You got another little, a little lighter thing right there. You got little hooks right here. All right, you can hook some stuff in. The seats can go down and all that. Yeah, not too bad, man. Um, let me see. Oh, you got your spare down there. Some tools and all that. You got your little American flag type things there. I don't know if that's what that is, but that's what it looks like. So yeah, man, not too much going on back there. We'll go ahead and close that up. And let's go around front and we check out the engine, man. See what this, this uh, compass, this compass limited, see what it's working with. Oh, and this isn't this doesn't just stay up you gotta you gotta put this on there so it's not uh it doesn't just stay up for you and as you guys see you got the 2.4 liter multi air I don't know if that's how you say it so don't roast me if that's if I said that wrong but multi air that's what it looks like to me um, but yeah man there it is 2.4 liter and we're about to drive this thing right now too to see what it's working with but um, yeah, you know, not much going on in there. So we could just go ahead and close this up. The little Ford-esque right here that it doesn't just stay up for you, but you know, we go ahead and close that up. And yeah, man, let's hop up in this thing. Actually first, before we do that, get a little cold start for you guys. See how it sounds. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but it did start. <laughs> so, you know, um, not too much sound there. But, I mean, that might be something that some of you guys like. I don't know, but, you know, pretty quiet on the startup. But we go ahead and hop up in this thing and go for a little ride. All right, so as you guys can see, we are in this thing, man. Let's go ahead and start her up. All right, there you guys see it. The Jeep on the dash right there. This thing... I don't know, so with that, there it goes. A little laggy there. I don't know what that's all about, but let's go ahead and strap up for safety. You know what I'm saying? We'll go ahead and push that down. Next to release park brake, press brake pedal, and push switch. There it is, that turns that off. That's pretty cool, you know, that's pretty modern. You know, you don't gotta pull nothing or push nothing with the foot. So, you know, I like that. And as you can see, like I said before, you could turn the track control off and all that. So let's go ahead and turn that off, man, you know, and see what it does. Traction control off. See if it turns all the way off. Two hours later. I guess, you know, you can't hold it and turn it all the way off, but there you guys go. Um, you know, you got the media and all that right here. Pretty basic, you know, um, I ain't gonna lie, the charger looks a lot better than this. That is just pretty basic, you know, it doesn't look anything special but uh yeah i think we're ready to go man let's get it going as you guys can see you do got manual mode in here as well but let's see how this thing does take this little turn right here and you know initially right off the bat i'm gonna tell you right now the turn radius is pretty good man a lot better than the charger and i know these are two different vehicles i keep comparing this to the charger but you know i'm not very familiar with any i've drove i think i've drove a rubicon before um but i can't really give you the good like good comparison between those i drive a charger so that's the only thing i could really compare it to but hey man this thing the turn radius isn't bad you know it's pretty smooth and i don't know if this is a a hybrid or what what it is but as you guys can see when you stop it turns the vehicle off. It's I don't I'm pretty sure it's not a hybrid. This is gas, but it has the feature 
that when you stop, it turns the vehicle totally off. So as you guys can see, the vehicle is off right now. So when I take my foot off the brake, it turns back on. And I don't know, I don't really know if I like that. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't really like that feature. Uh, I know a lot of people probably will just because it saves gas. But me personally, I'm not too crazy about it. And I just put my foot all the way to the ground right there and didn't really go anywhere. I'm not gonna lie to you. As you guys can see, look, we got the the Jeep Grand Cherokee right there and that, that just looks a whole lot better than to me, to be honest with you. But two different vehicles, that looks a lot bigger. This is more of a compact, you know, this is the more compact version of that, I'd say. But if you ask me, I'd rather go with the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Got some kids out there playing, gotta be careful with them. It's in E right now, I don't know what that means. I don't know how to change the drive modes in here. Let's see if we could change the drive modes and get to something different. Oh, that's, <laughs> I'm stupid as hell. That's actually a compass, so. <laughs> you stupid. Earlier when I was driving it, I it said S like that, that's south, but I thought it was in sport, so. My fault, that's my bad right there. So I don't think there is any drive modes in here, at least none that I could see. You get one drive mode in this baby right here, man. Let's try out this uh, this shifter. It looks like it stays on if you have it in manual mode because it was about to turn on and then I hit that little uh, shifter, put it in manual mode and it stayed on. little lag little lag between the shifts but um, I mean at least you have the option I guess Let's see how it goes right here I'm gonna kind of hit it now the handling ain't bad you know the handling is actually pretty good we're gonna test the handling out a little bit more right here. We're gonna go um, on a little bit of a canyon, a little bit of a canyon run, man. Take the Jeep Compass on a canyon run and see how it does. There's not too much punch to it. It is a lot faster than the Rubicons, you know, those type of Jeeps, the Wranglers and all that. Those aren't really built for speed, but, um, you know, I'm not, I don't know how the, the Durango's and the uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee's go. Those might be a little bit faster than this, I don't know, but let's see how it handles here. I ain't gonna lie, I do like the handling, it's pretty smooth. The braking is, uh, I don't know what type of brakes this has on it, but it's pretty responsive on the brakes. Not a lot of get up though, man, I just, I don't like that. I don't know, I'm used to cars that have power. And this one has no power at all. You can hear it, I mean, it sounds like it's trying to go, but it just doesn't want to go, you know? The handling's not bad though, I'll give it that, man. The handling is not bad, it's smooth, it doesn't feel heavy at all. I mean, I'm taking these turns at an all right speed. And this thing's, this thing's handling it like nothing. I'm not gonna lie to you, so. It does score big in the handles department. Look at this guy in the middle of the road. Fucking guy, man. That's one positive, it sounds like, I know I could hear myself and I'm sounding like I'm being very negative towards this vehicle. And it's just not for me. Personally, it's not for me. I can tell you guys that right now. I know a lot of you guys will like this vehicle probably. But one positive thing I can say about it is it does have good handling and the ride is very smooth. So if you're looking for a vehicle, if you're not looking for power or anything like that, you're just looking for a vehicle that's pretty smooth, has a good ride, good suspension. That turn radius is pretty good as well, as you guys saw there. Um, and, and look, we're going over these bumps right here. And I go over these bumps in my charger, and it's pretty, you know, you can feel it a lot. But right here, 
Ho! <laughs> All right, you feel it a little more than the first time I initially thought, but yeah, man, I mean, it's pretty smooth. It's a smooth ride. And let me put it in uh, manual mode, see how it does. It looks like it has pretty good gas mileage though as well. I don't like how it lags so much when you try to shift But you know it picks up a little more when you have more control of it. I will say that I am very impressed with the handling on this though. I know I've said that a lot of times already, but very impressive Smooth, man. Smooth going around these corners here. I don't feel like it's about to tip over or that I'm about to lose control or it doesn't feel heavy. It feels actually pretty light for what it is. And it is a smaller type of SUV, I think. It's pretty compact. I wish I had drove a Range Rover or something. Oh, I actually have drove a Range Rover before. Yeah, it can't, it can't compete with the Range Rover, but we're talking about two different class of vehicles, man. The compact Range Rover and this vehicle, you know, no comparison, but let's see, we're a little straight away right here. Throw that thing in drive. Yeah, not too, too impressed with the speed, man. I think if you're getting on the freeway and you're trying to, you know, squeeze up in there, you might have some issues with this one. So this seems like um, more for people who are, you know, more chill type of people, you know, someone that just wants a smooth ride because it's very smooth, you know, it's pretty comfortable in here. Um, the steering is very smooth, the handling is smooth, the suspension is smooth, the braking is pretty responsive. I think this is for someone more conservative, uh, someone that's trying to watch their miles per gallon you know the gas mileage because it does have those features like I said so right now it's getting 22.7 miles per gallon so yeah all in all uh, not too impressed with it for my taste but I will say my taste I like I'm a little more uh, over the top I like fast I like a little more um, a little better looking to be honest, you know, I'm more of a, like I said, Grand Cherokees look pretty good to me. Those are a little bigger. If I were to go for one of these type of vehicles, I would get the Range Rover, but you know, for the price, it, it does come at a pretty reasonable price. You know, you could get one of these for in the 20,000s, mid to high, I don't know, maybe low, depending on which one you go with. For somebody that's looking for a nice smooth ride, you know, something with not a lot of get up, but you know, good on gas, and you know all right amount of space you know you're not getting a crazy amount of space in here but you get an all right amount it might it might be for you i don't know but for me i just a little things like this look kind of tacky i'm not really feeling it too much and um yeah just not for me guys i, I can't lie to you i'm here to be honest with you but for the positives because i don't want to be totally negative the handling is great i'll give that an a a plus on the handling the ride, very smooth, I'll give that an A. I like the ride, it's very smooth. The comfortability, I like it. I like the comfortability, man. You get real comfortable in here. You could go take this on a long uh, road trip and I don't feel like you would get uncomfortable, man. You could go for a good while without having to rest. Um, it's pretty comfortable in here. I like the seats and it seems like it gets uh, good gas. So, I mean, other than that, that's pretty much gonna do it for this one, hopefully. Hopefully this helped out if you're looking to get one of these. I hope I didn't like turn you away or anything. Remember, uh, I like, you know, to go fast. And, you know, if I were to get a Jeep, it would probably be like a Rubicon or something, not something like this. But for the family person who isn't worried about going fast and doesn't mind little things like this, you know, likes the outside look of it. The look doesn't look bad. 
and it is very smooth like i said so for someone that's looking for things like that this might be for you you know don't let my opinion turn you off that's just what i think but you know other than that that's pretty much going to do it for this one guys hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to like share subscribe hit that notification bell drop a comment down below tell me what you guys want to see next if you want to see some more reviews let me know what type of vehicles you'd like to see and remember that we do a lot of runs in mexico so if you're interested in that check me out we do a lot of diy mods you know, like I said, I have a 2020 Dodge Charger 392 Scat Pack wide body. So if you're interested in that, check me out, guys. You know, I do a lot of stuff, uh, daily vlogs. So check it out. And if you like it, then mess with the boy, man. I appreciate you guys so much. And I'll check you guys on the next one. All right. Peace.